Yeah, so I did some more work on the sign, and I'm continuing to work on it as of now. Yeah, what I first did in the morning from 9.30 a.m. at the earliest to starting at 11 at the latest... I drew things such as this ladder, which is against this house, this person, these hikers, this goat, or something like that. I drew in this frisbee, this bird, and this balloon. No, uh, not, this is a hot air balloon. I drew in this balloon, this regular balloon. Uh, then I colored in this side starting with blue to represent the gaps of buildings before filling the rest in with green in order to simulate depict the land. After I did that, uh, I believe I drew in this Cessna before Mom picked me up around around 5 p.m. in order to take me to take me out to vote for primary day at the Community Senior Center. The lobby of that, of the Community Senior Center looks completely different from the last time I saw it. Dad got these fries and the sausage and these mini eclairs. He got them from Aldi's. Somewhere around 6.30 p.m. while... Mom was driving me back to back to Dad's place. And so I could put away some groceries. that I got during a Wegman trip Mom and I did immediately after we voted. Uh, for both parties, of which I was voting for, the Democratic Party. There was the candidates for governor. Of which I did some some brief research into in order to 
decide who I wanted to vote for in the primary. Yeah. Well, I, fe I feel that Kathy Hochul is an upgrade from Andrew Cuomo. I, in particular, decided to vote for Jumane Williams because I recall from the research I did, he's someone who advocates for both bail reform and defunding the police, which is transferring police funding to fund social services more. Such as mental health counselors. And those sort of things. Though my decision was partially influenced by a belief that in the primary I was voting for what Democratic candidate was going to run against Kathy Hochul in the general election since Kathy Hochul is the incumbent or the current governor. Seems kind of goofy that you lose your governor's seat if you don't win the primary. And then for the lieutenant governor, of which I'm assuming lieutenant governor is kind of like what the assistant principal is to the principal or the vice president to the president. You know, they're kind of like a sidekick. I voted for Anna Maria our Archa, since she was endorsed by Citizen Action of New York. Uh, which envisions an inclusive democracy that allows all New Yorkers to participate fully and equally in the electoral process. And is also pro-choice. Yeah, for the Republican, the Republican primary, only voting was only available for the governor race. Yeah, I, I assume by that there's no Republican candidates for. Lieutenant Governor. And this right here is supposed to be a Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, which, which to me, due to its, which to me is one of the most iconic U.S. Air Force 
aircraft to me due to its relatively unique look. Which is primarily achieved through that aircraft's rotators. I remember this aircraft most from a U.S. raid against ISIS in which they retrieved some intelligence at the cost of only one U.S. soldier from what I recall. The Wikipedia article on that raid said one of these crashed to the ground from my recollection of it. At the cost of one Navy SEAL. And this was years ago. Yeah, I had that mac and cheese with the capicola around noon. I finished the coffee around the same time after I started having it. If it, I started having the coffee around 9 in the morning. And when Mom and I went to Wegmans for some grocery shopping, I made an effort to get some keto stuff at Dad's place. A gallon of milk, whole milk, fortified with vitamin D. Microwavable potatoes with a one pound, eight ounce carton or container of sour cream. Two garden, two large garden salads and two large chef salads, all pre made by Wegmans. We organize all that stuff into one of Mom's. Reusable Wegmans cloth bags. And that's what I unloaded. Into Dad's fridge. Hey, as we were... Entering the community senior center to vote. Uh, I, I was uh, leading into going in ahead of mom. And I happened to see Addison. Who is a staff member of CSC that I remember from... Years back, back when I was volunteering. In order to... Join the National Honor Society. Greece Athena. High school chapter. Anyway, I spoke with Addison and mentioned that my upcom the upcoming Emerging Artist Expo, my spot there for the upcoming Cornhill Arts Festival.
and then asked if they were bringing back the coffee program in which I would basically get to have free coffee every now and then out, out of styrofoam cups. And at one point, that was my primary source for styrofoam cups. And Addison said that it doesn't seem like they'll be bringing that program back, at least not in the way it was originally. Uh, rather, it's more like they'll put in some kind of machine where you can basically pay for a coffee, that sort of thing. It seems styrofoam is becoming harder to come by here in this state, New York. Hey, either way, as long as I have styrofoam uh, to work with, one way or another, I'll keep working on styrofoam drawings. And I'm sure I'll always have access to styrofoam one way or another. And my parents have been ordering it online for me lately. After it seemed like doing that was cheaper and more convenient, there's probably still purchases of styrofoam in physical locations too. As for mom, the things she got included some Hillshare snack packs, some Listerine, some eyeliner it seems, Hmm. Oh, and a birthday card for a f one of our family members, it seems, on her side. As well as a block of cheese among then a container of cottage cheese and some other things. It was initially intended just to get some pre-made salads and baked potatoes, some microwavable potatoes so I could have those at Dad's place. And while it ended up being more than that for this grocery shopping trip, it was still less than we usually get from a trip to Wegmans. As for the voting itself, the lines were non-existent, and we did that in one of the community senior, senior center's multi-purpose rooms, where they would do a variety of activities, including many of the former Friends and Fun activities that I remember. Uh, the voting was around 5.15 to 5.30 p.m. around that period of time. And 
For the Community Senior Center, they're currently doing some renovations there. So, it does look like it's under construction to a, to a point, uh, but the building is still more than accessible. At least enough for it to be a polling location. I was alerted that today was primary day through a text notification on my phone through one of the many democratic slash progressive grassroots organizations that I'm subscribed to to receive emails and text messages from.